A French Navy surveillance aircraft conducting a surveillance over the Baltic Sea as part of NATO's operations was subjected to an attempted jamming and elimination by Russia's S-400 missile system. The former Pakistan High Commissioner to India has claimed that with the induction of Chinese J-35A and Turkish Khan, Pakistan Air Force could be positioned six to eight years ahead of the Indian Air Force in terms of technological superiority. India will showcase its Prale ballistic missile as well as its twin launcher for the first time at the Republic Day Parade. Larson and Tubro has announced a collaboration with IIT Kanpur for the development of a flight laboratory dedicated to the advancement of fixed-wing unmanned aerial vehicles and the creation of sophisticated flight control computers. BA Haglunds has joined hands with Larsen and Tubro to bring the BVS-10 Beowulf articulated all-terrain vehicle in the Indian market. The Chief of Defence Staff has said that making a joint planning and operation room to help enable the three services to conduct integrated operations will be a key focus area this year. The DRDO is set to conduct environmental tests for an anti-jamming antenna, which is intended for use in unmanned aerial vehicles, to enhance the resilience of UAVs against jamming. The Indian Army has initiated a 3,500 crore rupees comprehensive plan to modernize its ordnance depots by private industry, a crucial step aimed at enhancing the safety, security and operational efficiency of its ammunition storage facilities. Negotiations between General Electric and Hindustan Aeronautics for the local manufacturing of the F-414 engines have encountered a significant hurdle, as latest reports indicate that General Electric has demanded an increase in the contract price to incorporate 80% transfer of technology for the engines. The price for manufacturing 99 F-414 engines in India was earlier agreed upon at $1 billion, and now the price has escalated to $1.5 billion. Despite this sudden price escalation, HAL remains optimistic about concluding the engine deal before the end of March 2025, however there is a possibility that the ongoing discussions over the revised pricing could extend the timeline, as both parties work toward reaching a mutually acceptable agreement. The Indian Army is considering deferring the purchase of high-cost tactical missiles like the Prale, in favor of the domestically developed 300 km range Pinnacle Mark IV system. The DRDO has recently been authorized to develop a 300 km range Pinnacle Mark IV variant that will incorporate advanced guidance systems, and will also ensure compatibility with existing launch platforms. The Prale missile offers the capability to carry both conventional or nuclear warheads to a range between 150 km and 500 km, however, its production has been scaled back, primarily due to cost considerations, and the strategic need for a more versatile and affordable option. The DRDO's Phase 3 BMD program is making rapid strides with the development of the ADAM and ADAH next-generation interceptor missiles to counter Mach 9 Plus capable hypersonic missile threats. The ADAH is engineered to tackle the complexities of intercepting hypersonic glide vehicles, which are known for their ability to change direction during flight, making them unpredictable and difficult targets, while the ADAM is tailored for engaging hypersonic cruise missiles, which maintain high speeds while flying within the atmosphere, often using complex flight paths to evade detection and interception. Today's top 3 comments.